welcome to Let's Learn Computing. Today's tutorial is for how to create an aquarium with Scratch. So it's for the subject of computing and for children aged 5 to 7 years old. To prepare for this lesson, you'll need to make sure that Scratch is installed on your school network and that you've talked to the IT department about how the children can save and retrieve their work. Alternatively, the children can visit the Scratch website and use the online editor. This is Scratch website and this is the area for children to create their own work. First of all, I think it would be a good idea for children to have a look at an aquarium. So I've got a video on here from Dubai Mall and you could talk about the movement of the fish as being quite slow, moving from one side of the aquarium to the other side. And so in order to tell the computer how to do this, we need to give it instructions that it understands. And you should remind the children that uh, the name of this instruction is an algorithm. Uh, we're also going to use a repeat loop as well, so to tell the computer to move and continue to move. So the easy activities today is to change the background to an underwater scene and then select some fish to go into the, the scene. So we go to Scratch, and the first thing we can do is click on this cat and delete him. And then we can go to a new sprite, and you can click on animals, and go down to a fish. Any fish will do, or any underwater creature. Now we want to go to the stage and select a new backdrop from the underwater scene. So you can click down in nature and we can choose this one. Now we're going to do a forever loop, move 10 steps, and if it gets to the edge of the screen, we want the fish to bounce off. So to do that, we go to scripts over here. When the program starts, then we need to go to here to control and forever, because we're going to keep on doing this. Motion, move 10 steps, and if you click that, go, it will move 10 steps and then it and when, when it gets to the edge of the screen, it will not come back. The computer doesn't know what to do. So that's why we need this block down here. It says if on edge bounce. So now when we click it, it's bouncing. Now for the activities which are a bit more challenging, you of course can have multiple fish sprites. And then we can use the duplicate script tool to help us um, do the code a little bit faster. So we can just go to new sprite, go down to fish, another fish. Let's see this purple fish. So I go back to this fish and click on this little tool up the top here, which is duplicate. And then click on the top and you'll notice that it will just duplicate all of it. Now we need to hold down the mouse and put it on top of this fish here and it copied correctly. Okay, so this fish is also moving 10 steps. Uh, you might want to change that to a different number, so that maybe five steps to be a bit slower. Okay, and use the mouse to drag it to a different part of the screen. Now you can see this is two fish swimming in the sea. Okay, so you can use to duplicate the script tool to get the fish to move at different speeds. We've changed the number of steps. You could also resize the sprites using the grow and shrink tool, which is right up here. Grow, and this is for shrink. So I think these are a little bit big, these fish. So I just click on to the shrink and make sure the, the arrows pointing inwards are on top of the sprite before you start to click. And then I think that looks a bit better. Next, the challenge activities are to change the costumes when uh, this is available. Some sprites have multiple costumes and it looks more realistic. And so to do that, I'm going to go and check what costumes are available. So in this fish, it doesn't have any costumes. Let's see, in this fish, it doesn't have either. So I'm going to create a new sprite. And I know from looking before that the shark does have multiple costumes. 
Here's the shark. Double click. Okay, now I need to get the script from before. So remember to use the duplicate tool. Duplicate all of this and then drag it on top of the shark. All right, now uh, when we go to costumes here, we can see there's actually three costumes. And I want to get it to continually change the costumes. And to do that, you go to uh, events first when the green button to start the program is clicked control forever and costumes is in looks next costume now if I clicked go at the moment it will very very quickly change all of the costumes so there needs to be um, a bit of a period where the computer waits so I'm going to drag this block into here. Wait one second. The children could choose, of course, how many seconds. So I'll just drag him up to here. And you can see it changes the costume. Another challenge activity your children might like to try is to add sounds to make the aquarium even more realistic. And so to add sounds, we need to click on the sounds menu at the top. And there's many sounds already in the program, so we can click on this one on the left, choose sound from library. A good one for underwater is bubbles, so I'm going to double click on that. And that just gets the blocks ready, so the sound will appear into the block, so it hasn't actually done anything. So to get it to play the sound, we can have any sprite clicked, or even the stage could be clicked, it doesn't matter. And we just need to do another set of blocks here. So we need when the green flag is clicked forever. Go to sounds, play sound, bubbles until all done. Very simple. And when we click, we can hear the sound. Okay. Right. Uh, one more th thing that you can do to him make the program more realistic is to set the rotation style that means that the sprites will only point left or right okay so you can go to this fish and you can set the rotation style to left or right that can go at the top at the start of the program now they won't look like they're flipping upside down okay Alright, so the other thing that you can do is to add a different sprite that follows the mouse pointer. This is a real challenge activity. So we can create a new sprite and we can go down to animals. So when we click the green flag, go to control forever. Then in the motion, we're going to say how to move. Point towards the mouse. Now that's only pointing, it's not moving anywhere, so you also need the block that says move towards, move uh, as well, so move two steps. And then when we click go, we have a fish which follows the mouse. And again, it would be a good idea to change the rotation style just to left or right, because fish don't swim upside down. Another way you can do that is to click the little eye here as well, and it says rotation style left and right okay so it looks much better bit of interactivity there for the more able children in your class now that we have done all of the scripts for all of the sprites we can see what the program looks like in full screen and visit our aquarium so if we click on the blue button at the top left it goes to full screen mode and click on the green flag to start so you can see that the yellow fish is following my mouse pointer and the rest of the fish are doing their thing. And another a different activity, if you wanted to continue this project, is uh, similar. Instead of things going from left and right, you can use the point in direction, zero degrees, and get things bouncing up and down. So you might want to have a trampoline background and sprites bouncing up and down. Um, you can look in the Scratch resources page for more di examples of uh, different activities there. That's the end of this tutorial. If you'd like to request your tutorial, you can write to me at letslearncomputing at gmail.com. 
I'm currently based in Qatar, and if you'd like to request some training for the teachers at your school, you can visit www.letslearncomputing.com. Thanks for listening.